Letter from Boldersdale The wheat ears are back in the dale Wheat from wit, Old English for white Ear from arse, meaning rump or backside And why not smile at such ribaldry As the birch declares a goose down of leaves The flare of daffodils plateau Chick chack, fallow chat, coney chuck These are a few of its other names My favourite water poet, and true to its name here comes the beat of rain, but not in the way this summer migrant might know, the flash of a Senegal monsoon, the Nile swell, no it falls as dag, flist, hempel, that soft weather I knew as a child and have always known I will return to when that coin is pressed into my hand at the riverside, anorak zipped to the throat, hood of faux fur soaked to its lining. I hope its banks will be as crammed with the gold of marsh primrose as the boulder is now, that I may lift a riffle of trout from its bed for whatever journey is ahead, that the drum of the snipe will accompany the splash of the oar. Stop, Seneca says, striding across bog asphodel and moss, brandishing his umbrella, his wellies clarted with mud. What madness to plot out such far-reaching hopes. Postpone nothing, count each day as a separate life. And then he is gone, a particulate of mist. A bumblebee fleckers the old bridge, a ewe calls her lamb. A heron lifts from its reed-bed nest, wings a burst of sun.